Alright you guys, this is my first tutorial on tips and tricks and battery saving tips on iOS 7. Um, I want to try to cover all of them, so it may be kind of a long video, but hang in there, I'm going to cover almost pretty much everything. So, what I have for you guys today is, of course, first I want to throw in the battery life tips, because this will be used the most. The battery life of an iPhone or iPad is either terrific or terrible depending on your point of view and which model you have. If you are optimist, you point out that the iPhone gets longer battery life than most rival touchscreen phones. If you were pessimist, you'd observe that sometimes you can even make it you can't even make it through a single day without needing a recharge. So, one of the features I have for you today is dimming the screen. In bright light, the screen brightness and uses more battery power in dim light and in dim light it darkens. That's because when you unlock the phone or iPad after waking it, it samples the ambient light and adjusts the brightness. Well, I kind of prefer turning that off, going into your settings and go under wallpaper and brightness right now I have it on just to show you guys um, it has full brightness because it is obviously kind of light coming off my light in my room maybe dark for you guys but it's just the camera I have um, I have auto brightness on so what you need to do is just turn that off and just you can go in here and set your features up for when it's dark or when it's like really bright but I'm gonna put this halfway but for this video I'm gonna make it bright so you guys may can see it better alright now the next tip I have for you guys is turn off Wi-Fi if you're not in a wireless hotspot you may you might as well stop the thing from using its radio swipe up from the bottom and, and you see the Wi-Fi toggle switch you can turn that off when you're not using Wi-Fi if you're not in the Wi-Fi hotspot area. But of course, I have Wi-Fi here at my home, so I need to keep it on. So I can get on the internet and don't have the cellular iPad. By the way, these features, they work for both the iPad and the iPhone. Some of them may not for the iPad, but most of them work for both. But the one big one is turning off push data for your mail if your mail if your email calendar and address book are kept constantly synced with your Macs or PCs or iPad or iPhone you probably gotten yourself involved with Yahoo Mail Microsoft Exchange or iCloud it's pretty amazing to know that your iPhone is constantly kept current with the mothership but all that constant all that continual sniffing in the airways looking for updates costing your cost your battery power you can do this by going into your settings and going to mail and contacts um you scroll down my bad you go to one of your accounts and you go under account and well um go under fetch new data and you have this toggle for push or say fetch or either manually I have push off of course but I have push for one email that I use constantly that I need emails from but or you can turn it on fetch for it to fetch emails every 15 minutes or you can turn it on manually I want it to fetch every 10 minutes every 15 minutes sorry and mo all three of these I have manual but the other ones I do not so that's another one um, one more is turning off background updating non apple apps check for frequent updates such as facebook and twitter start reporting apps and so on and not all of them have to be busily toiling in the background so, what you do is you go in your settings, go under general, scroll down to back app, background app refresh, and you want to turn that off. I have five apps here, well, one article, 
and four apps here that want to use background refresh but if you turn that off it's not going to look for anything in the background when you're not on the app but of course another thing is to help with this also is double clicking the home button and and um swiping out of your tabs and that will also help to save battery life just a quick thing in there turning off cellular data um this one's for the iPhone so what you want to do is you go in your settings and go to your cellular and turn off cellular data when you're not in the area you may not have cellular data turning this off will not hurt calls coming in or calls going out but if you have Wi-Fi in a spot you can turn that off to push everything to Wi-Fi and save your minutes maybe if you have a monthly plan or something like that the next thing is to turn off your GPS for your apps um you can go in here may have it on my iPad I think so um let's see uh, yes okay go into privacy location services and you can turn this off for apps maybe not to use your say your location um i have a couple on couple off of course series on need series to find different places for me so i keep it on so that will also save your battery life um you turn on bluetooth when you're not using it of course fight from the bottom open control center and turn it off when you're not using it that will also really save and that, I mean, that's pretty much it some basic things that you can do to help your iPad or iPhone. Thanks guys.